to improve clinical outcomes for patients. Question number eight, Maya, Maya Lubick. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Education. What reports has he seen about the need for training in trades occupations? The Honourable Chris Hopkins. Mr. Speaker, I've seen reports that New Zealand is facing a significant shortfall of construction related workers. It's expected that 56,000 additional construction related workers will be needed over the next five years. The Building and Construction ITO, one of the industry's biggest training organisations, has said it's on track to produce around a third of that number. Clearly, we need to do a lot more to attract people into trades training and support them through it, and that is what this government is committed to. Supplementary. What action has the government taken to date to make it easier for young people to train in the trades? Mr Speaker, our fees-free policy has already made choosing a trades qualification either on-job or pre-job much more affordable. Over half of the students and trainees who benefit from, from fees-free are outside of the universities. Previously, employers and apprentices had to pay training and assessment fees to their ITO. Now, for all eligible apprentices and programmes, those fees are covered under the fees-free policy for up to two years. We are reducing the cost burden of, for training for the future building and construction workforce. Does he consider that the fees-free policy is sustainable? Mr Speaker, yes, it's financially and educationally very sustainable. We cannot burden future generations with the cost of tertiary education or block access when we need to incentivise them to get the right skills and training to succeed in a rapidly changing world. Fees Free has reduced student loan borrowing by up to $140 million in the first uh, calendar quarter of this year, with 25,000 fewer students having to borrow for their fees. That includes thousands undertaking vocational courses at polytechnics and PTEs. Question number nine, Sarah Dowling. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Conservation. 